in falls and there is no part of the to hear it, does it make a sound? Usually in a non-literary literary civilization it does uh, sound very little. And uh, of course, even in a, a quite usually literary society, like uh, one of the Roman Empire, uh, it's uh, usually uh, the subject of quite uh, long-term debates, uh, which uh, impact on how depth, how, how deep impact uh, some of the recorded theories could have had. So, uh, group one, uh, the theories which is uh, very well recorded and one which is uh, presumed of the uh, one of the featuring points and the uh, most, uh, most uh, crucial uh, on the uh, other causes uh, leading to the development of the, during the third century, third century crisis, uh, so called Antonin Clay, uh, which is which could presumably to have struck the Roman Empire by the uh, reign of uh, Mark Aurelius and the later emperors. And uh, uh, so far, because of this long term uh, debate, there is uh, there's been many theoretical models and estimates of the impact of its scale, of its structure. And uh, of course, uh, possibilities of the mathematical modeling has been explored before, uh, but uh, on the general level, uh, in, in sense of homogeneous uh, one, uh, uh, one population, and uh, so this uh, attempt to put some more uh, uh, focus uh, to as well a complete reduction, mainly uh, using um, the solar automata principle, not implementing too much of the agent base or the agent in themselves because the Roman Empire comprised uh, tens of millions, so uh, using the standard uh, computational uh, sources would it be uncomprehensible. Uh, so, uh, but still there will be uh, an information implementation. Anyway, so from the very brief uh, introduction, uh, there has been and many authors who, who, who record it, uh, the presence of the appearance which should have started uh, uh, by the midst of the second century and uh, oh, really through the appearances also uh, even a hundred years later. And uh, we have uh, quite a lot of epigraphy and administrative records which uh, serve mostly as a, a circumstantial or proxy data uh, which has been and their interpretation could have been also one as the uh, impact of the epidemics which depopulated some of the regions and should have uh, revealed through the economic factors uh, decrease in tax returns, uh, military records from diplomas and such. And as well, uh, archaeology which still uh, lacks some of these evidences such as uh, mass grave, which would be really straightforward, uh, but of course uh, it uh, provides uh, quite a lot of uh, evidences which can be uh, quantitatively uh, interpreted and as a uh, possible impact of the epidemics. Uh, as for the, the very cause of the epidemics, it's uh, uh, mostly agreed on the smallpox uh, through the differential diagnosis on the Galenos uh, who, um, uh, left quite a quite a, a large part of the treatises which uh, uh, describe symptoms. Uh, so we will work with the uh, medical properties, medicinal properties of the smallpox, uh, such as a uh, uh, probability of transmission, uh, latent period of incubation, and uh, protocol phase, and such, uh, which will be embedded in the model. And of course, uh, the second. Um, Mostly uh, stated is evolutionary young measles, which should be uh, developed from the rhythmus by the early middle ages. And the uh, origin of this uh, epidemic should have been uh, was located to the China, where also by this time have been recorded the massive uh, epidemic uh, outbreaks and the interconnection of these massive population pools uh, should have mediated. Uh, this outbreak within the Roman Empire, which is considered to be a mostly susceptible population, kind of a virgin population in populations. So there has been these uh, existing theoretical uh, models of the impact from uh, diff differing between the environments, either political or uh, uh, military or civil, because the, the spread should have begun with the Eastern campaigns uh, uh, under Lucius Verus, and the troops returning to Rome should have brought the disease throughout the empire, and then uh, consequently it should have spread to the uh, civil in context which had been consecrated with a military one. And the theoretical model ranging from the most oldest, from the half of the population of the Roman Empire should have perished, which is also, which of course is uh, exaggerated. Uh, some of the highest are ranging uh, up to 30% 
uh, but uh, also some of the negligible uh, impact uh, scenarios uh, are um, stating some uh, one to two percent, uh, so uh, quite a uh, wide margin. So we have possibility to test what kind of uh, impact is possible and what upper margin is is uh, acceptable. Of course, for this military environment, for the uh, military units which have participated on Eastern uh, pathway campaigns and uh, returned to this uh, two day garrisons uh, along the uh, continent of Limes. So the units uh, returning and spreading the, the possibility of spreading the disease uh, quite, over the quite extensive uh, part of the empire. Uh, and uh, for the proxy data, which has been so far uh, collected in dozens and dozens throughout the whole empire, uh, which has been uh, mortuary evidences of the epigraphy uh, of many, many sorts, uh, mainly, mainly based on economics, based on quite large like studies by Duncan Jones and Wallachia and others, uh, reflecting uh, perhaps uh, foundations of the new cities which has dropped uh, by the end of the second century, as well as the inscription from the, the public uh, funded uh, uh, buildings, as well as the uh, development of the taxing and, and the prices, and many others, and mining activities. All of these should uh, uh, corroborate the uh, significant impact of the, of the, uh, of the, in, of the epidemics. Definitely, the, uh, during the debate, many of these um, evidences have been. Uh, uh, Doubt it, and so this is really uh, still still ongoing debate, and will be certainly because uh, for every epidemics, it's a uh, uh, event which is uh, never conclusive without uh, such data which are uh, at hand. So the, for the main, main testing point the scenario has been established in a single solar model in a network with with resolution 20 by 20 kilometers. So quite rough, but uh, the extent of the Roman Empire is quite uh, extensive one, so it was uh, reduced uh, proportionally. And the simulation, uh, which goes through the 13th from the uh, inception and the, uh, and the returning troops from the Eastern campaigns, uh, ending by the one uh, significant reoccurrence uh, recorded by Cassius Dio uh, by the 189, which is in Rome in 2000. The people should have died by day, so uh, even that might be uh, exaggerated. And the uh, model, model dynamics uh, can be uh, divided into interstellar and extracellular. Interstellar are based uh, on the mathematical epidemiology, which has a very solid background for uh, uh, almost 100 years. And uh, interstellar uh, does uh, mediate the, the spread of the disease in, in space or through the space. And also, uh, for cor correlation of these dynamics has been established uh, agent based model, which, uh, which is supposed to simulate um, activity within the one, one uh, model cell. So, what is the main background, which is the population distribution, population densities, because of the smallpox is certainly a uh, density dependence disease. Uh, so there has been a used the low count, which uh, comprised of 60 million by the time uh, of the epidemics, uh, with the standard, standard properties of the population for this, uh, for this period. Uh, and based on the existing literature, Barrington Atlas has been uh, digitalized some 10,000 points, which has been used uh, to map to the density of the population. So uh, resulting uh, map of the of the distribution of the population has served as a, a main, uh, main layer for the, for the, uh, for the calculation of, uh, of the development of disease as well. And the spread uh, in the space is quite mediated through the uh, sophisticated uh, network of the, of the existing uh, or known roads, which has been also digitalized in uh, 200,000 kilometers and also uh, used as a continuous raster. And uh, each cell uh, during the uh, course of the uh, calculation of the disease development within each cell uh, used this uh, differential equation based on the very first, which has been developed almost 100 years ago. Uh, this one is particularly developed for the, uh, for the, for the small box and their, their individual uh, phases and the duration of these phases. And so, uh, one of the featuring number in each epidemic is so-called basic reproductive, reproductive number, which uh, 
states the important or uh, the feature uh, variable for the testing scenarios. As you can see, the lower the uh, secondary reproductive number is, the lower the impact of the epidemics is, and the uh, more susceptible the population ends uh, at, the, uh, at the end of the outbreak. And also uh, the formula for, for the spread of the disease, so uh, for the smaller distances, the, the more probable it is to spread. And uh, of course, uh, even for the 100 meter, 400 kilometers, it is possible to spread because the latent incubation period is about 7 to 11 days. So one individual which is infected can travel quite a long distance before uh, the symptoms, first symptoms out and outset. And of course, uh, smallpox also has the second, second properties which uh, develops uh, risk rate, uh, the development which is uh, better conditions, uh, mostly it is uh, relative humidity and temperature which uh, influence quite distinctively uh, susceptibility of the virus, which can survive even very long, over very, very small uh, temperatures, it can survive in 10 years. But with a high, high humidity and temperatures, it survives quite a, a short time, and even without uh, outside the human host. Uh, so, for the climate uh, conditions, they have been uh, used to modern day, but uh, still for this kind of uh, complexity reduction functioning uh, layer, there has been temperature factor and humidity factor uh, combined, and annual oscillation uh, setup. And so the, the main scenario, the small standard scenario, begins uh, with the returning troops from the east, which should have been the main vector of disease spread. Uh, and uh, uh, through the either uh, legendary garrisons and the long lasting tra uh, long trade center on the Mediterranean coast and such are expected to uh, mediate the spread of the disease in the, in the uh, long, long, uh, long distances, and not only uh, short distance spread within the uh, um, standard population, which is spread thin because most of the population, of course, despite the high level of urbanization, which has been something between 50 and 20 percent, still the most of the population of the Roman Empire has been a rural one, so with the density is about 20 persons per kilometer. So. Uh, still, this is one of the main constraining factors in this. So, uh, we have put up the model together, and also there is a, this agent based uh, correlation which uh, defines two scenarios for the rural landscape and urban landscape, and which are uh, the households which have uh, designated amount of uh, individuals which are interconnected by nodes and uh, based on the mean contact rate they interconnect and spread the disease so uh, on basis of these scenarios it seems to be quite uh, clear that the rural landscape which is a uh, uh, thin spread uh, exhibits very uh, low uh, mortalities and the uh, high mortalities can be Certain only in the urban uh, and the dynamics as well in the urban uh, environment. So, if we take a look on one uh, of the runs of the scenarios, which has been established both by the uh, correlation of the basic uh, reproductive number, uh, for which uh, has been recorded for the, the cases of smallpox, which are uh, eradicated by the time, but the recorded uh, medical records uh, usually uh, constrained by th between three and six. Uh, but uh, in the highly urbanized uh, regions, there has been recorded even more than 10 uh, reproductive number, or higher than 10 for the smallpox. And of course, uh, influenza and such as quite uh, more, more than high. This is about 12, 20, so every disease has its uh, um, inheritance or, uh, or a specific uh, uh, basic reproductive rate. And the uh, uh, second uh, Second property, which has uh, established the testing scenario, has been uh, one of the development of, of the probability of development of the uh, volume of the of the interpersonal contact between between space, which also uh, provides the the, the or constraint or increases the spread. So the geographical. Uh, distribution of, uh, of mortalities uh, by these uh, individual scenarios uh, and, and the dynamics of the, of the mortalities through time 
show that the uh, higher the, uh, the reproductive number is, the more gradual or more uh, sharp uh, in, in, uh, inceptual uh, decrease of the susceptible pool is, and the lower probability of the successive outbreaks uh, because of the susceptible pool is uh, low enough, or the density of susceptible is, is too low to have a few further, further outbreaks, so the, uh, this pool has to be recovered again. And so to uh, get to uh, necessary proportion. So of course, expectedly, because of the development of the population throughout the whole Mediterranean, the most uh, significantly impacted regions would be those uh, well developed uh, as uh, Asia Minor, Italy, and all the others. But uh, of course, uh, the regions with the uh, population spread thin along the uh, coastlines are less impacted. Uh, but uh, Egypt. Comparing to the quite vast extent, the most of the population has been crammed along the uh, River Nile, so the, the, each region has its own specific properties. But generally, uh, even in the highest uh, scenarios, uh, we can assume something about 15% of the mortality, and still that would be uh, possible uh, for the uh, for this. Uh, very significant and sharp outbreak which has been recorded by Cassius Dio some 25 years later than the first outbreak would be possible with this modern scenario. So uh, if we are putting this together, uh, the most probably seems to be that uh, mortality didn't reach about the 15%. So the, some of the existing uh, scenarios about 25 or 30% of the uh, total uh, death toll throughout the Roman Empire seem to be a uh, little bit excessive. And of course, there are many uh, interconnected questions like uh, uh, what proportion between the urban and rural pro population uh, impact has been. Uh, and as well, there's been perhaps uh, many analogies for the Black Death, but this can be really uh, specifically. According to each vector of disease and each way of transmission, because uh, this is completely different, and uh, mostly like that, uh, uh, development is uh, concerned by the human rat ratio, which has been favoring also uh, the rural landscape, not only the urban landscape, where the population was more dense uh, than it was for the smallpox. So, for all these uh, uh, has been uh, taken in account. Uh, once the quite extensive debate and a lot of arguments are existing within this uh, issue. And of course the real currents, which might have been also in the form of Cyprian plague some almost uh, mm -hmm. uh, 100 years ago, uh, which seems to have uh, the same properties as it was for the smallpox, uh, so this might be one more real currents as well as for this uh, recorded by Cassius Dio. So, but definitely it uh, uh, contain many pitfalls and, uh, and um, necessitate to uh, incorporate also other factors perhaps which might uh, yeah, be omitted in this case. So thank you for your attention.